TechSplore's model learning. TechSplore learns models of the domain using random forests of decision trees to model both the transition and reward dynamics. TechSplore learns a factored model, learning a separate random forest model to predict each state feature and the reward. Each random forest is then made up of a series of decision trees which have been trained on a random subset of the agent's experiences. As an example, here is the agent learning the decision tree model for the change in the x or the column variable of this agent in this four room equivalent domain. So at the start, the agent has no model. It has no idea what will happen. Now, as it starts to move, it can learn predictions. So at first, the first action was north, nothing happened in the column, so it predicts, okay, all actions have no change in the column. Now as it starts taking actions, it starts making splits based on the actions. If the action was right, it sees that the column incremented. If it was left, it decremented. Now that's good, until now it goes above to the wall and it has to make a new split. Okay, if, there's, if you're at this certain column, taking the right action doesn't do anything. And so as you see, as it moves around the domain, it can learn to split the state space up into regions with similar dynamics. In this case, as we have a grid world, the regions are the open space, the left walls, the right walls, and the doorways. But in many domains, you can split up the state space into various regions that have similar dynamics. Now, with the random forest, we're going to have a number of these different tree models, which each represent a different hypothesis of how the state space should be split up. For example, as the agent only has a few experiences at the start, there's a number of different ways to generalize and split up the domain. By keeping these separate hypotheses in a random forest, the agent can then examine how the models disagree and where they disagree to determine where to explore or which states are most likely to lead to good policies. So here's a diagram of how the random forest model works. After the agent has split up the state into its relevant features, for each feature it's learning this random forest model, and each random forest model is made up of these M decision trees. Now at the end, it aggregates these predictions together and then plans on the combined prediction. 